Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. That depends on where you are. Uh, welcome to the Sandbox, the Sandbox Show. The Sandbox. Uh, you've got G, aka Sans. And uh, it has been a while since I last posted anything. Uh, I'm sort of sorry that I uh, that I'm back, but I'm I'm posting something sad. Um, but I, I think it, I, for me it has to be done for for me. Okay, for me. I'm not saying everyone should do this. I'm saying it's uh, for me. It has to be done. Um, this is about the past, the recent passing of uh, a great local artist. When I say local, I'm not just saying local Filipino local. I'm saying a local from the city where I'm from, the city where I am at now, currently at now. And in fact, uh, his wake is at his house right now. And uh, no, I haven't been there. I've never been there. Because we are actually, him and me are not exactly friends. We're FB buddies, uh, we're Twitter buddies, um, YouTube buddies actually also. And we've, ex we've exchanged uh, some opinions, some a bit of some stories, just a bit. Um, okay, I'm talking about Mr. Jerry Alangila. So, uh, those in the comics industry know him a lot. And every time you, every time I go to Comic Cons, he's one of the most popular ones. Okay. So, you may not be familiar with Mr. Jerry Alangila, Sir Jerry, but if you've ever seen this, Yes, that was, that is, that was him. That became viral. Uh, but he's not, he wasn't just some random guy. Uh, he was a comics artist, a very well-known comics artist. Okay, uh, Mr. Jerry Alangilan uh, became more well-known when he did this. Elmer, it's about a... It's about a talking, thinking chicken. I was supposed to say kitchen chicken or rooster. It's a well, the roosters are talking here. Anyway, uh, he became more well known because this won awards. Okay, so for instance, um, it was a winner of this. It was a best Asian album it won the Prix Assis de la Critique Prix Assis de la Critique okay I know I pronounce Prix right and De so the La Critique I know I pronounce that right too I'm just not sure about the Assis A S I E okay it won that back in I think uh, 2011 yeah uh, that, that was held in Japan. I'm not sure if I got the uh, information right. In fact, if wait, okay, maybe we should check here. Okay, Jerry Alan Gillan's Elmer wins Best Asian Comic Book Award from France. France, pre ACBD. It's an ACBD. I don't know what that means. Okay. So according to this, according to Spot.ph, uh, this was published back in uh, uh, I think 2011. I'll get back to you on that. <clears throat> Elmer, a comic book by Filipino comic artist Jerry Alangilan, won this year's pre ACBD award in France. The announcement was made on June 30 at the Japan 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 Japan. Japan Expo. Okay, so uh, it became popular because of that, and uh, I think they really did a great job with this one. Um, from what I know, uh, it was already popular with uh, a book called Wasted, and I don't have a copy of that yet. Uh, I'm 
supposed to buy one uh, for the, uh, the next comic con I'm going to. I don't know when that is going to be because most of the time life happens. Anyway, uh, this was also nominee for the best new graphic album in 2011. Yeah. So I think the France, the French one, French award one. Uh, was also back in 2011. So this one uh, was for the Will Eisner, Will Eisner Awards, I think. And here's a picture. There's a uh, at the back of this book. They quoted, they quoted, he quoted, Neil Gaiman, Neil Guy, Neil Guy. You know him? Okay. So anyway, uh, well, Neil Gaiman was quoted by the. Philippine star uh, daily in the Philippines you know, back in 2010. So Neil said, I find Jerry Alan Gillen's Elmer is one of my favorite comics. It's just heartbreaking, heartbreaking, heartbreaking and funny and so beautifully drawn. I mean, come on, that's Neil Gaiman. It has to mean something. But anyway, we are here not actually talking about. Elmer, we're talking about his creator, his writer, his uh, uh, artist, Sir Jerry Alan <sighs> Well, uh, I first, uh, I first met him back in I think twenty, probably twenty eleven. Yes, yes, twenty eleven. I think that was it. Um, uh, I had a friend. I have. Uh, I had a. I have a college friend, Jonas, who uh, he introduced me to the Comic Con world. I didn't local Comic Con world. I didn't know that we have a we had a local Comic Con industry. Com comics industry. Sorry. Uh, I didn't know that uh, there was sort of a comics revolution going on because. A lot of people thought comics, local comics, was dead. The lo local comics industry was dead. Uh, I didn't think that, but I wasn't also aware of that. I wasn't also aware that it's popular again. It was becoming popular again. Anyway, uh, my friend Jonas, he's he's he was friends with uh, Sir Jerry, and Jonas told. Jonas told me uh, about Comic Cons, so he said, "Why don't you go to the third comics festival?" And it was great timing for me, great time because it was held here in San Pablo City, San Pablo City Laguna. Uh, so uh, at, at the at a mall, popular mall here. So I went there and found out about the local comics industry. That's where I saw Mr. Sir, Sir, Sir Jerry. So he was one of the most popular ones. So I wasn't exactly familiar with him, but since he was one of the popular ones, and I saw this there, and and I was able to. I had this. Uh, it was a search, search, search. Long, a bit of a long story, but. I got his autograph, but I wasn't able to talk to him. I wasn't able to uh, to introduce myself to him, or Jonas was not around to even introduce me to him. And so I wasn't expecting any uh, what do you call that special treatment. Anyway, uh, that first one was the third comics festival, and I was really sort of pissed off at myself because I didn't know about the first and second, but it was very memorable. Then. I went to call because uh, I bought stuff from him, like this one, uh, Crest Hot Butt Shop, issue number four. <laughs> I was able to to follow him on FB Facebook. I wasn't able to become buddies with him to invite him because I tried, but. Uh, his, his uh, uh, what do you call this? He couldn't accept friends anymore. He had to do another, uh, create another account. I don't know. 
but I didn't want to impose because we're not friends. Doesn't he didn't know we were not friends. He didn't really know me. So when at the comic concert we didn't even talk. You know, I was too shy. And there were there were all, all, most times there were lots of people and, uh, uh, talking to him or he was going around the place wherever it was happening. The comic con was happening. Anyway, uh, then we uh, I followed him on Twitter, and there I was we were able to communicate a bit. I would comment on his post and he would answer. But for some reason, okay, uh, he didn't really connect me to the YouTube person at first. Well, for that I wasn't doing YouTube, of course. It was just last year that I started this, right? has been a year, yes, uh, started on, uh, in November 20, 2018, but anyway, uh, I followed his, uh, YouTube account, which you should check out, I, I'm also giving the link below, okay, uh, and we started talking, he didn't really, <laughs> I don't think he connected me to the Twitter person, because, uh, uh, here on YouTube, I use Aka Science, right? On Twitter, I use JG Federizo, which is what I use on FB, you know, uh, on FB, Facebook. I'm not sure if, it, if he was able to connect me already to, but connect my Twitter and Facebook already, but not my YouTube. And then, it so happened that last, uh, since I have I hadn't been able to attend Comic Cons, it so happened that last year uh, they held again Comics Festival in the in the in here in the city, fourth Comics Comics Festival, and I was very lucky because it was very near, so I was able to attend. I was able to take pictures and a video that I think I lost. <laughs> Because uh, we lost the uh, phone, but anyway, I got the pictures. I have the pictures to prove it. Um, that's where, uh, so I, I talked to him a bit. <laughs> that's when he realized, oh, it's you. <laughs> so it was sort of funny, and I was glad that he finally sort of knew me in a way. <sighs> but anyway, uh, sometimes I was able to talk to him, and it was really nice to see because just recently he probably realized you weren't really Facebook buddies he invited me ha so of course I accepted that that was just recently uh, probably a month or two ago I'm not so sure Re recent enough recent enough <clears throat> but he was already having well, yeah, he, he was having health problems, but recently it was obvious. It was also obvious he wasn't feeling well. Um, in fact, he sort of said, if not sort of, he did say, he did announce that uh, the last Comic Con, which I wasn't able to attend, was going to be his last Comic Con. But I guess nobody really knew that it was really, really, really the last comic I was going to do. So, <clears throat> well, I saw I saw a post by Jonas on that he said he's praying for Jerry. So that post was I probably missed that post. So maybe when I uh, made a comment there. Uh, Jer Mr. Jerry was already gone. I just realized, I just found out that he was gone when I read the post of another artist, Nino Balita. Balita. Another artist I follow. <clears throat> and in his post, he mentioned that he mentioned Sir Jer that Sir Jerry passed away. So that was sort of a shock. 
so I'm sorry that I wasn't able to buy more stuff from him. Uh, this was the last thing he bought from me from the festival. The coca. I was planning on buying other stuff from him, like uh, wasted and uh, oh, I forgot the title of the other one. some stuff for Marvel. He's been doing stuff for Marvel for years. So it's sad. <clears throat> uh, we were not friends, but we were not not friends. So at least I can say we were Facebook buddies. And at least I can brag. <laughs> That he invited me. But uh, the surgery bro who brought pride to this city, this country, in his own way, uh, may you rest in peace. In a sort of way, it's a Merry Christmas. Now you're with him. So my condolences to his family, especially to Miss Aileen, uh, his wife, Miss Aileen, who, who is also a very nice lady. Uh, there's a personal story about that, but I don't need to tell. <laughs> Talent. Okay, well, we'll miss you, Sir So, And if anyone who's watching is interested, just watch his videos on YouTube. Uh, he just likes to talk about food, his favorite shows, uh, comics. He was very active uh, in the first years, uh, in later years he wasn't, but once in a while he would post stuff. And he actually posted something more than a week or more than two weeks ago. But since I have been in, uh, what do you call that? I've been absent here. Uh, I hadn't checked that out. That's what I regret. I, I should have checked that out and made a comment already. Anyway, thank you for watching. And I'll be posting some other stuff soon. So, surgery, rest in peace. Yo.